In the year 2003, an investment was worth $31,400. In the year 2016, this investment was worth $47,650. Assume a constant rate of change. Complete the sentence below. The value of this investment either increased or decreased at a rate of what? Because we have a constant rate of change, we can determine the constant rate of change by taking the change in the output and dividing by the change in the input. Where in this case, the output is the investment worth and the input is the year. To keep things organized, let's write the information as ordered pairs in the form of input comma output. So the first ordered pair is 2003 comma the investment worth of $31,400. And the second ordered pair is going to be 2016 comma $47,650. Often we use the variables x and y. When we use x and y, the ordered pairs are in the form of x comma y, and we can determine the change in the output by determining the change in y and the change in the input by determining the change in x. Let's label the first ordered pair x sub one comma y sub one, and the second ordered pair x sub two comma y sub two. And now I can use this formula here to determine the constant rate of change, which if we have a linear equation and two variables, would be the slope which we use the variable m to represent. So the constant rate of change m is equal to y sub two minus y sub one, which again is the change in the investment worth, which is $47,650 minus $31,400, divided by the change in x, or the change in years, which is 2016 minus 2003. 47,650 minus 31,400 is 16,250, and the units, remember, are dollars. And 2016 minus 2003 is 13, and the units are years. And now let's determine this quotient. 16,250 divided by 13 is equal to 1,250 which gives us $1,250 per one year. So because the constant rate of change is positive, we know the investment is increasing. Of course, we can also tell because the investment went up from $31,400 to $47,650. So now we know the value of this investment increased at a rate of $1,250 per year. Let's look at a second example. Again, let's write the information as ordered pairs. In the year 2008, an investment was worth $47,500. This would be the ordered pair 2008 comma $47,500. In the year 2015, the investment was worth $41,550. So the second ordered pair is 2015 comma $41,550. And again, to keep things organized, let's label the first ordered pair x sub one comma y sub one, and the second ordered pair x sub two comma y sub two. Assuming a constant rate of change, we want to determine the constant rate of change. So the constant rate of change m, again, is equal to the change in the output divided by the change in the input, or the change in the investment worth divided by the change in years, which is given by this formula here. So y sub two minus y sub one is $41,550 minus $47,500 divided by x sub two minus x sub one, which is 2015 minus 2008. 41,550 minus 47,500 is negative 5,950 divided by 2015 minus 2008 is seven. And again, the units are dollars and years. And now let's go ahead and find this quotient. Negative 5,950 divided by seven is equal to negative 850. And therefore the constant rate of change is negative $850 per one year. So notice how here, the constant rate of change is negative, and therefore the investment has decreased in value, 
which again we can see because it went from $47,500 to $41,550. So the value of this investment decreased at a rate of, we don't include the negative here though because the negative indicates the decrease, so we say the value of this investment decreased at a rate of $850 per one year or just per year. I hope you found this helpful.